would you? Wrong boy. Hi, everybody. And welcome <laughs> to Monday Night Monster Hearts. Ah, it's so crazy. It's so good. Ah. No, I'm not playing music random pop-up that I've never seen before. I'm yelling, okay? I know my voice is musical. The music is still playing, yeah. though. Oh, so. hold on a second. I think it was talking about me, though. It says, it was. It set up professional audio in audio settings. No, Hi, Allie. We already have that. How fast? You got popcorn? That's good. You got popcorn? That's It's, it's probably going to be a good night for popcorn. If it's you've popcorn uh, seen the last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of uh, popcorn-worthy episodes. Just throwing that out there. Throwing that out there. Um, hey, you know what? I want to start the night off right. We'll say this at the end. But I want to invite you all to a special place next month with us. It's called Virtual Horicon. Oh, Whoop. Yeah. Remember right. last year we had one of these things and uh, the UN was like, hey, great job. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like a, that, but better. That's a real thing that really happens. That mm -hmm. is a thing that happens. It is. It? You're right. Well, we were, and I, it's because we were, we were donating to COVID, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Release, so, yeah. yeah. Well, this year we're donating to blind cats. That sounds made up, but it's true. Yeah, we are. Yeah, portion of yeah. the cats. <laughs> yeah. So check out Virtual Horror Con. It's next month. Um, you're going to see a bunch of familiar faces. Uh, you'll get oh, to hi. play games. You check out some vendor hall deals. See amazing panels. I just wanted to be the absolute first person on uh, live stream to welcome you to yes. Virtual Horror Con. Listen, you need to understand. What? I met Rob. At virtual horror. I was gonna say I met you and Brian oh, and yeah, Stephanie. I met Bob for the first time and Natalie for the first time at like virtual horror. Stephanie ran vampire for me. I ran and the Capstone vampire game too. Yeah, I closed it out. Stephanie, <laughs> Stephanie closed out the con. Like Whoa. this is a good time. You will make lifelong friends at That's virtual true. horror. Con. You too can guilt into games with you that may end up on stream. So many years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, years ago. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's a very big deal. Um, I forgot about that uh, until you just said it. Because, yeah, this cast wouldn't exist without Virtual Horror Con. It would not. So, look at that. Look at that. This cast like wouldn't a, exist without GG. A pen pro. Before that, because GG table led me to your table. Uh, how about an, another fun thing? Should we talk about another fun thing? We should. Yeah. Uh, you might have noticed all of us are wearing t-shirts tonight. Um, I, we want to show them off. Here, check out these t-shirts. Oh, I guess I could just do that. I'm going to get up a little, like, yeah. Ugh, okay. Well, you like the, these t-shirts? It says Corey <laughs> and Donovan and Krina and, and Bridget and Wolf and... <laughs> Krina's got the, the best spot on my chest. These were uh, a <laughs> gift <laughs> from our, our lovely cast member, uh, Quentin. No, wait a minute. <laughs> no, it was Katie. Wait, it was K the whole time. Yeah, you can't buy the them in the store. Time. I'm sorry. There's a special oh, just no, for us. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I custom made these for everyone in, in their character's favorite colors. Yeah, but you if you want to feel like... the whole class? What? Yeah. Well, if you want to feel like part of the class, you can go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> and you can oh, get a Lumber Jeans t-shirt. Oh, oh, or if you're not quite ready to commit lovely. just to that, perhaps a you can go to the store and get a Gehenna gaming shirt. <laughs> Somebody oh my was God. prepared. Yeah, what? and I hope you know you better put the regular one back on that I gifted you. What? Whoa. You, you, I should Not... keep going? No. <laughs> <laughs> you um, gotta put the other we, one back on. We also have zippered pouches. Oh, I love oh, that yeah. so much. Yeah, where you can put cute glittery pens to write all your promises that you will, you know, do bad things with or good things. <laughs> Yeah, I'm putting the t-shirt back on. Don't worry. No Gehenna Valley swim team speedos. That's not true. <laughs> Mark, work on the speedos. We need the That's speedos. True. Gehenna Valley swim team speedos. <laughs> um, unrelated. What's up? Uh, Ali says that we are echoey. The players are echoey. Oh, that's I probably my fault. Hold on a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Like I'm on old time radio. Right talk now? amongst yeah. ourselves. Oh, uh, okay. How about we talk about how I'm still not entirely sure how I got onto this game, but I'll take it. Uh, it was it was it was Brian's love for you because you were so. Oh, cool. clearly. That definitely. Sacrifice of a Brian. lamb on a full I moon. I know. Uh, uh, if you need something else to watch after this, and you're just 
bereft of sadness because you can't see some of our faces anymore. If you go onto the Onyx Paths YouTube, you will see the first part in a two-part series of a Changing the Lost game hosted by the cool Tobias Murr that just went up. And, and you know, I don't know, this cool little Motley the Splat, maybe they'll show up again like some other time in the near future. All right, all right. I got my headphones on. That's enough. Okay. That's enough shilling. We shill at the end. <laughs> Yeah. Except when I'm, I usually do a t-shirt prod towards the beginning, so we show at the end, except for that. Listen, fast, if you do, somebody, somebody, I demand it. Somebody, somebody, somebody tell me what color pin to write with today. Um, sparkle What are purple. the options? Your shirt's purple. Do purple. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a good choice. I got purple. purple. Okay, I'm glad I fixed it. Thank you very much. Um, Hi, Mom. I figured it was because I was the only one not wearing a headset. That is a good indicator. Yeah. All right. Let us jump back into our regular cadence and talk about what happened last time on Gehenna Valley. Valley, Valley, Valley. Valley. Oh, Thanks. Okay. Thanks for helping you me just out. fix the echo, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf tries to comfort Krina. She books it to the Fey Realm in the middle of the cafeteria. Dixie, Wolf, Tabitha, Harold, and Emily all see it. What? What's so funny? I forgot, like in the middle of the goddamn lunchroom. Yeah, like, yeah. She, she's not messing around, okay? She was just like, I'm going to go to my special place. She was like, what's wrong with you, Wolf? And then ran away. That's right. And then Wolf was like, oh. Wolf did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong. Yeah. Well, Krina said some mean <laughs> things, though. It didn't put that in here. We can we can add that here. Hold on, let's get real quick. Brina was mean. Brina was mean. Okay. All caps. <laughs> Bridget and Corey get escorted to the principal's office. Donovan chastises Corey for oh Donovan follows them to the principal's office. Donovan chastises Corey for hitting teachers. Bummer. Kind of wrong. Yeah, Bridget disparages Donovan for not taking care of his own shit. Donovan is disappointed in Bridget. There's a lot of back and forth roles in that little Really scene. Corey, but also Bridget. Um, yeah, but I didn't want to... Listen, you got the chastised for hitting teachers on Corey, okay? Mm. I, I can't... I don't take notes on every little thing. We All right. <laughs> Krina faces off with some kind of fear creature in an overgrown fey field. It appears as Alistair, then Corey, then Karina herself. Walt Freeman gets called out of gym class by the principal. Donovan sees him being talked to by the school counselor and some police officers. Then Donovan hypnotizes Walt into telling the police everything. Dun, dun, dun. Everything. Yeah, he, he gets escorted away by the police. I didn't write that part down, but that's pretty key. Uh, Bridget admits to the principal that she tackled Corey and that she doesn't regret fighting. Corey admits to fighting Alistair and a teacher. Bridget is suspended on Monday. Corey is suspended on Monday and Tuesday. Next slide. Donovan and Wolf have a heart-to-heart -heart about Wolf's value and Wolf's dad. I don't like the way this sentence was written. I feel like I say that like once every other week. I don't know. You gotta ping me to remind me to do content editing. I can do that. I'm sorry. Uh, but they talked in the bathroom about stuff, okay? About emotions and fathers. Donovan gets called to the principal's office. The principal talks to Donovan and Corey about how she has to make some calls now since she found out that Corey has been living with Donovan. It's fine. Yeah. We're going to keep that nice and vague, because I don't feel like researching what would happen if this happened. Donovan is a smartass and tells Corey that it's time for both of them to leave town and abandon everyone. It's a metaphor for not repeating Donovan's mistakes. The principal tells Donovan to stop being a parent, then sends Wolf and Donovan back to gym. Corey goes to Donovan's house because he got suspended. He had to leave. Oh, wait, but then the last minute he was like, oh, I have to go to work. And he called the, the guidance counselor. Like, oh, hey, yeah, like, yeah. Well, I have to I actually can't go like to Donovan's house. I have to go to work. That was like the last thing. It was. Yeah. Um, Bridget goes home to find Dixie there with her parents. Dixie told them about seeing Krina's fey magic. 
And she also interrupted a meeting they were having with Sebastian. Sebastian was pretending to be an Angora fur buyer. That's not right. Dixie told on him. Uh, Bridget confesses that she got suspended and that Viridius isn't from around here. That's not exactly what they were looking for her to confess, but they counted it and we moved forward. <laughs> D starts preparing for a vampire attack. Oh, because once, once Bridget showed up, she was like, oh, by the way, Sebastian isn't just a fair dancer, singer, person. He's a vampire, and he hangs out with vampires. This is probably uh-huh. bad. Bridget calls Green and tells her how Corey and she got suspended. Also, Sebastian stuff, because she brings her up to date. Karina goes to Bridget's. Karina learns from Be, Ruth. Uh, a fey portal, just popping out in the kitchen in front yeah. of Zara and D. Yeah, Karina was just like, okay, I'll... Well, Bridget's like, do you want to come over? And Karina's like, yeah. And then she's like, hi. Um, Karina learns from Ruth that her bodyguards weren't able to track Karina when she went to the fey field. But they did spy on Bridget, which is how they knew where she was. Uh, Ruth pledges to kill the fear serpent. And tell it Karina sent her. You hurt me! <laughs> Ruth was going to get someone who can check for hypnosis, because Bridget was a little worried that her parents got hypnotized. Uh, but Tara doesn't want to do that. Dixie would like to be told in the future when she's, closing, when she's working in close proximity with non-humans. And finally, Donovan and Wolf sit out for the rest of gym class. Donovan tries to comfort Wolf with sexy touching, and Wolf gets awkward. Because it's the middle of gym class. No, I think it's a fair it. time to okay. get awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. You know, it's not they're like you both don't like Donovan. Sitting I mean, their dad there. just got arrested. <laughs> right. And Donovan's <laughs> like, hey, hey Karina touches it. people like this, <laughs> and it works. <laughs> You gotta make sure like, like, Sorry. This right. this is a thing. This That's is what Karina does, and it always makes oh, you happy, crazy. Corey. I was gonna say. Or does know. it? Look, I don't know. Look where they are right now. Shut up. Look where they are. <laughs> Everyone is very happy in this game right now. Bridget's oh. like, I'm okay. <laughs> Bridget's like, I'm good. It's an inverse thing. When it's going well for all of us, it goes bad for Bridget. But when Bridget's having a good time, the rest of us suffer. <laughs> Okay, let's do our character oh, check in. We can still we can still do this. All right. Speaking of characters. <laughs> hey, here's Bridget. Remember that cool art we got? It's still there. Look at that. Oh, I love it. So cool. I God, love it. I love it. It's very good art. Bridget, uh, you've got the conditions sheltered and in denial. You've got one vintage string on Krina. You've got six on Wolf, one on Ingrid, two on Dixie. Uh, we should note for all the viewers at home, if you missed last episode, and you've had two weeks now to catch up, but if you missed last episode, this is the last vintage Karina string. The other one formerly possessed by Wolf was spent last time. So It wasn't even useful. What? what? That strings on me. What? It wasn't even useful? <laughs> well, because he got advice that didn't even help. Wow. Wow. It's true. It's true. I'm not wrong. Bridget also has two harm. One XP towards her fourth level up and is not currently in Darkest Self. Jumping to Donovan. Donovan has the conditions, not my dad. Or maybe not your dad? Bridget gave it to Donovan. (laughs) Not anyone's dad. Yeah. As far as Donovan knows. Specifically not Bridget's daddy. Okay. <laughs> no one calls me daddy. Um, wow. uh, he's got a lot of strings. <laughs> um, Why don't we highlight that top one, huh? That's quad- That's wild. You want? You like the fact that he's got seven on Corey? I think it's ridiculous, and I need usage. I want to see him used. Just take entrenched, Rob. Easy. You got no harm. Look at Rob's face. <laughs> <laughs> Rob loves it. Rob knows it drives me crazy, and he loves it. You've got planned. four XP towards your second level up, and you're not in yourself. It's pretty good. For now. For now. For <laughs> now. We can fix that. Corey. Corey, Corey. Has the conditions inattentive, center of the universe, and bad boyfriend. 
do. I forgot you had that one. Yeah. He's got a few strings. Um, notable here. Look at this Sebastian string. Let's not forget about that. That's a good one. A He's also got two harm. And wait, is this true? Did you not level up last time? I have not leveled up yet. <laughs> so you've got four XP towards your first, first level up. This All is right. correct. Okay. Maybe you should uh, make some promises to your girlfriend. No. <laughs> I'm a bad boyfriend, remember? I don't make Kay's promises. like, oh, maybe Rob are. should just spend a string on Corey. Corey really? is, is, a, is a bad boyfriend, and Kay is a bad metagamer, okay? <laughs> No, well, you don't necessarily want to be burned a good by promises. Better. Hey, checking out Wolf Freeman. Wolf He's dedicated, whipped, and prepared. I don't know. Prepared for the... <laughs> I don't like that. I don't know. <laughs> I like it, but you know. <laughs> hey, I'm helping him. <laughs> I don't even remember who gave him the whipped uh, condition. Donovan did. The whipped did, condition? Oh, not the whipped. Whipped. Sorry, I thought you went prepared. Whipped no, no, probably from whipped. Bridget. It's probably from Bridget. Isn't Wolf from, like, wants Black to get Haven? whipped from Donovan. Whipped I mean. No, uh, whipped was gone and then given back. Was it? I feel right. Anyways, it's right. important. Continue. Knock it off, y'all. Y'all, you're wild. Rain it in. Definitely gave him dedicated. <laughs> he got that was six the locker strings room. on Bridget. Six strings on Donovan. No harm. One XP towards your second level up. We'll, we'll get there. I'm, I'm down there with Corey. <laughs> and we've got Karina. We usually start with Karina. I reversed it this time. Karina, got, if, did I throw you off? I'm sorry. Yeah, a little bit. But it's okay. <laughs> You've got ear to the throne, irresponsible, exhausted, and emotional. That's tough. That's, that's... That's a wonderful, that's a winning combo. Right. Everything's going great. <laughs> you've got a, you've got a bunch of strings. Uh, you got two on Bridget, two on Corey. You've got, uh, you got one on your mom, Tara. Not no, your mom. Not mom. That's not your mom. <laughs> That's Bridget. Oh, spoilers. Mom. Oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> Plot uh, twist, Brian. <laughs> you've got one harm. I also have a string on Sebastian. Oh, you do? Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. And you know, plus forward to retaliate against the I family. I think I have one on Sebastian. Wait, who, who else has one? Not the same thing as retaliation against the family. You have one on Sebastian too? Yeah. How did all these people get strings on With Sebastian? Our powers there was a lot of there was, us, there was some flirting and there was some shutting down. Wow. And some gazing into the abyss. Yeah, yeah gazing. Um anyway. Can we talk about my level up, Brian? Oh, I guess we can, sure. I'm on three slides now. I'm up there with Wolf with all my moves. You've got Take what? Say it again? I'm on three slides. I have so many moves now, I'm on three slides. What move did you take? Scent of Blood. Centale Blood. Here we go. It's on the second slide, yeah. Yeah, add one to all rolls against those who already have been harmed in this scene. Oh, that's not going to happen. No, uh -huh. no, uh -huh. that's not going to happen in this game. Oh, I like your mug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful Bridget little still has a latte style level mug. Nobody has seen. Ooh. I know, we're going to do that, don't worry, it's going to be fun. Um, oh, yeah, I meant to do prep for that. I didn't. <laughs> Brian, of course you that. No, I mean, I did, but we're I didn't do Feral. a thing that I meant to do. That's all. Listen, how is everybody? Feral. It's fine. We did great. Um, that was good. Donovan looks hungry. The eyeshadow is dark. The, the what? I, I was commenting on Rob's eyeliner, oh. saying that it looked dark, so therefore Donovan is hungry. Sorry. I was like, why does Donovan look hungry on Krina's sheet? I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know if I'm just easily distracted or if everyone is mumbling, but... You know. There's a butterfly. <laughs> butterfly. Listen, that's a meme. Okay? And we know that people don't oh. get references. <laughs> I have missed you all so much. Missed you all you so, guys much. so much. Well, clearly we're not allowed to take a week off because we just. It's not eight we yet. We can other. still start. Yeah, it's not eight yet. Yeah. Natalie you... and Aid are just sitting there like. <laughs> Natalie and Aid are just like, you shitheads. We're still going to start. I'm not. I don't. Listen. Listen. Okay. All right, no, that's okay. mine. Excuse me. TM, mine. Listen, listen. L lies. All right, here's the deal, okay? 
bringing it back in. Bridget and Karina are at Bridget's mom's house. Well, it's Bridget's house. With Dixie, and they started to call the coven in. Rob and Wolf. No. Donovan. Donovan <laughs> and Wolf are at school, and school is just ending. Corey is about to show up to his job. Mr. Maul here. How are you today? That's all the people. Oh, shit, Brian. That's your nails all are of great. us. Huh? Your nails are great. Well, thank you. Today is still the same day that Donovan visited Maul here, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah it, is. it is. Yeah, you yeah. skipped class, like, second period to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that first, because I think technically that happens first. Um... Not the you visiting Mulhair, but Corey going to work. I don't know how important this scene is. Uh, maybe. We'll maybe? We'll Do you want to talk to Mulhair about anything? I think. I think he might. That's not a good answer. I mean, he's showing up half an hour early for work. Okay. So he'll be in session. That's So you just want me to that, chastise you a little bit? I don't know about chastising, but, like, I don't know. Does Mr. Mulhair care? Is he like, why are you here early? And then, or he's like, nah, here's a paycheck. It'll no, okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's do a little scene. Let's see what happens, you know? Let's, let's go. Yeah. Um, great, so you show up uh, you show up early. Mm -hmm. Mulhair is well aware of when school gets out because uh, that's when the teenagers arrive at the library. And he's like, he looks at you and he goes, what, what's going on? I think Corey, you know, knocks his backpack back off into the back room and looks at Mulher and says, uh, I got suspended. Why? I punched a teacher, and then a fae punched me in the face. So I punched the fae back. And then my friend, who maybe isn't my friend, it's, it's, it's debatable right now, uh, tackled me to a table. <laughs> Uh, oh. to prevent more fighting and during that time a teacher also tried to grab me and I maybe flipped them over my back that one move you taught me the one that's really good for like disabling breathing monsters okay okay hey why don't we step into my office for a second mm -hmm. goes back into his office behind the front desk S sits down he's like hey shut the door yeah, Corey just pulls the door shut it's great uh, so you attacked a teacher the teacher wasn't listening Okay, yeah. Was the teacher a vampire? Evil I don't think so. Gargoyle evil, yes. thing? Evil, yes. Ev vampire, okay, the teacher unknown. was evil. In what way was the teacher evil? Well, I mean, he's always just been the worst teacher. Um, but, but, but no, like, so I was... Donovan was texting me, and I found out that he had come here and all this stuff, and I was just, like, conferring things in class, but I was being, like, really quiet while I was doing it. I wasn't, like, distracting everyone else, but he was like, hey, don't text, and I was like, I'm sorry, this is, like, an important thing. It's like, and he was like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah, it is. And he was like, well, here's a detention, and I was like, I don't have time for your detention. I had already sussed out a detention earlier in the day that I had gotten where I had traded physical labor to not do detention, which I don't necessarily know if is legal, but I did it. And then he tried to give me two, and I was like, I was like, you don't understand, and he didn't, because he's the worst. And so I gave them back to him with an open palm to his chest. Okay, okay got it, got it. Um, and then you said a fae attacked you? Yeah, so when I was at lunch, and I was like, things were finally looking better, I sort of, like, talked to the principal a little, and we had sort of, like, smoothed things out, kind of. Like, I don't know, I guess I'm going to, like, see a guidance counselor or something. Uh, but, you know, because apparently that's, like, not enough. Whatever, whatever. So, uh, I sat down, and then Bridget, who, I don't know, was like, hey, you have no consequences, which is, like, bullshit. I've experienced many consequences. And... I was like, you know what? I need to leave this conversation because I was getting really, really angry. And they were like, no. And Krina like really wanted me to stay. And he like sighs and like his shoulders sort of slump and you could tell he feels bad in that moment. And so I stayed and then there was more and they just, they weren't understanding 
anything. And so I tried to get up again and, and Karina was like, no, stay. And I was like, I really need to go. Cause like, I was getting really, really. And like his hands shake a little as he like curls them into fists again, angry. And so I stepped away and I went to walk away. And then Alistair stepped in front of me and said something I don't remember because he just clocked me in the face and I fell on my ass. Oh, so it was I hit him Alistair. Back. Okay. Yeah. He's... I've been really nice to him lately. Mm-hmm. And he just clocked me in the face. And so I clocked him back because I'm just so tired of his so, thinking he's better. I, I know you said Bridget was making you upset. Um, was Krina part of that conversation yeah she like agreed with bridget and she she knows what i've been through she knows she knows what i've lost mm -hmm. and she just agreed with bridget do you think there's any chance during that conversation you might have insulted your girlfriend the fey princess maybe okay Okay, I'm he just, looks very guilty. He looks real guilty when he says to me. Just sort of guessing why her bodyguard might suddenly punch you in the face. I think it's because I was not following her orders by leaving. Because she wanted you to stay. Yep. Okay. Okay. And she did. A th I felt like I don't know. There was like a tingling. I don't know. A, t a tingling. Yeah. What was the tingling based around? Well, knowing things I've possibly known before, I think maybe magic, but I'm not sure. You think someone was casting a spell on you? I think someone enacted magic that had a reaction. Okay, okay. Um, and then your friend who you don't know is a friend tackled you yes and i wasn't gonna hit her because like bridget doesn't deserve to get punched okay it was bridget yeah okay okay well maybe i should have i don't know all right all right um there's a lot so this is a lot he's got like a nice bruise forming on the side of his face like right on the cheekbone i think um you should really think about what it means to date supernatural royalty, okay? I'm not telling you to do anything except for think about what that means because it is not like dating other people. I don't, I don't think of her as supernatural royalty. Okay, I'm it's asking like... you to just... Not, like, right the second. It's not like a 30-second exercise. Just, like, you got suspended. You've got some time Tuesday. to think. Do you need someone to work a shift, like, early during the day on Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, I'll, you can work on Monday or Tuesday. That's fine. Cool. Um, it's better that you stay busy. Um, but I, I would... I'm asking you, as, as your friend, as your mentor... Put some are you, thought. Why are, you, why are you using your fingers when you say mentor? I don't know. It's 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 not like we have like a one to one relationship. I'm a librarian. Okay. Um. I want you to think about this, okay? Because I think you have to, at least some of the time, think about Krina. As if she was supernatural royalty. I understand the desire to think of her like any other person. I no, get I, that. I, I don't think of her as any other person. I love her. Okay. I think you could do both. I think you could love her and understand who she is in like the grander scheme of things. Um, Try that. I'm sorry? You could try that. Yeah. Okay, that's, great. That's a thing. Great. Yeah. Um, I need you to be a little more careful when I say, is X person evil? And you respond, yes. Okay, but he could be. Like, I, like we, listen, we had another school teacher who was here, and she tried to stab students 
through Wolf's car? Wolf's car? Bridget's car? Someone's car. Donovan's car. I wasn't there. Um, but she tried to, like, stab people through a car mm-hmm. and then kill regular human students. And me. She did try to kill me, too. I used my powers from that I had before to, like, fall through a ceiling, and it was pretty cool. I missed that. Um, okay. Uh, so, lots of people could be evil. You know what I mean? The Drake Kravitz. Could be. Could be. Could be. But I think just because you don't like the response a teacher gave you when you were doing something you shouldn't have been doing according to the school rules, that's not a good time to label someone as evil when you and I are talking. That's probably fair. Okay, cool. Um, This is what we're going to do. I'll give you some extra shifts on Monday and Tuesday, so, you know, you can stay busy. You don't have to just sit in the house and stare at the wall. Well, if, if I didn't do that, I would just... Can, I've been focusing really hard on, like, the ink, and I've been getting good. I've, like, barely got any ink on my fingers lately, so I think I might be near poison. That's great. That's great. Um, I'm not going to get up early tomorrow morning and do fight training with you. That's... Oh, well, I mean... That's because you attacked a teacher. Oh, cut... Did... Okay. But I how, um, I can't improve. Like yep. it, was, it was like a shove. We're going to we're going to we're going to keep doing fight training just not tomorrow. Where it looks very frustrated. <laughs> like the very petulant like arms across like his chest like he really savors I think that time and like because instead I'm going to sleep in and then I'm going to go straight to the fair and you're going to open up like you normally do and I'm just not going to open up with you. Okay? Okay. All right, if you need to get some energy out, you can chop wood in the back. I could do that. I should learn to, like, swing axes. That's, like, a, a useful tool. Yeah. do that better. Yeah. All right. All right, go uh, reshelve some books. Yeah. And, like, I think he, like, pauses at the doorway as he's, like, going out and he, like, turns back and looks. He's like, you don't, you don't regret this because of what I did, right? Because, no, Corey, I don't regret knowing you and and teaching you and working with you. Because, cool. You're a teenager. You're still working on shit. Hell, I'm still working on shit, but you've got a better excuse than I do. And oh. you're going to think about what happened, and mm-hmm. you're going to learn from it. Yes. Because that's part of our training. Yes. Yes. Oh, also, they know that I'm living with Donovan, and so I don't know what's going to happen with that. Okay, I'm going to go shove bolts. Oh, like, what? The door shut behind <laughs> <laughs> Will you Long be my trail of bye. Bye. <laughs> Will you be my dad? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ask him, please. Donovan, will you be my daddy? <laughs> what? <laughs> please sign my guardianship papers. I literally have a condition about bolts. this. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are goobers. That was fun. That was a good. That was a good catch up from Corey's perspective. It's like you got what happened last time twice. Yeah. Y'all are so spoiled. So lucky. Oh, what a wonderful mug, Brian. Oh, do you like my mug? I do like your mug. Where can I buy a mug like that? In the or, store. Oh, great mug. Oh, that glass, exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. All right. <laughs> um. Wolf. Are you gonna go home? Um. So, What's your the plans, guidance Dan? the guidance counselor said to go to them before going home. So oh, I think that's, that's, that's right. He's gonna stop there first. I remembered that. Um, and Donovan will go with. Yeah, yes, I know, Donovan. I you don't let Wolf go anywhere anymore. I know. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> Never uh, let me do anything fun, like go to the, the bathroom counselor. by himself. That's true. He ran away. That's why. Yeah, then you showed it <laughs> up. 
Well, it was an emotional time. It was an emotional time. It was a very and emotional I'm just time. teasing. I'm sorry. Um, uh, a whole bunch of goobers today. Goobs. Okay, so Wolf is going to the guidance counselor. Guidance counselor has a name. It is... I didn't remember it, which is why I... I Mix Lance Rapony. Rapani. Not Rapony. Rapony was someone I knew. Rapani <laughs> is a made-up name. A made-up name. Very Completely different. Completely different. <laughs> Excuse me, a little burpy. I don't know if you can hear that, but with the mic so close to my mouth, you might be able to, which is gross. Um, nope. Are you wearing a scarf, Ashley, or is that your hair? Huh? That's Ashley's hair. My hair. It's wow. Beautiful. I know, you don't see it very often, but it's yeah. long. It was behind you earlier. Now yeah, it's well, because I wanted to show off my shirt. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, no, like... mm. Aid can totally pull off Morticia. Oh, yes. Aid does have Morticia hair. My hair is, well, my hair looks blacker on screen than it is in real life. That's why I thought it was a scarf. That's, that's fair. Why I that's why asked. Anyway. We're so, we're so on task today. Gosh. Um, what? This guidance counselor just loves your hair. I mean, love your hair. I'd be a great guidance counselor. I'd wear these glasses and be like, talk to me. Mm. Okay, I'm bored. Like now. Get out. I'm going to make you play this game called Monster Heart so we can understand our feelings. So we can understand our feelings. Here. Oh, gosh. You're a ghost. <laughs> Tell me why no one can see you. Um. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like the new guidance counselor? <laughs> Just the way that the guidance are talking is a little, like, seductive. I don't know. <laughs> I don't just, think that's appropriate. That's just how they talk, Wolf. Anyway, Wolf goes anyway. to see Mixed Lance Rapani. Yes. Um, and that's good, because they asked you to... Zay, Zay asked you to... Um, <laughs> Cottage core and high top sneakers. Uh, we definitely That's need this style. character as a group. Um, and um, they just check in with you real quick, and you know they're like, All right, you know, you feeling okay? Um, do you do you need me to get someone to drive you home so you don't have to drive home? <laughs> yes, I see you, Donovan. Donovan could do that. Uh, yeah, and, and Wolf will just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Um, you know, I just wanted to make sure there was, wasn't really anything I needed to do. No, I just, you know, I wanted to just check in with you real quick. I talked to your mom already, so, um, should be, um, everything should be good. <laughs> Wolf gives a kind of like, I don't know about good luck, <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> And and he just says, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, thanks. Um, I think we should probably be going then. Okay. All right. We'll will see you next week. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for everything. All right. The guidance counselor does not giggle like Brian. <laughs> <laughs> um. Great. Cool. Yep. Yeah, and then they go home while they go to Wolf's house. Yes. Um, I remember why the guidance counselor asked you to check in, and that was in case things went differently. And yeah, luckily, if the police didn't show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Things, yeah that's you know. why I assumed. Yeah. So, uh, Wolf, are you going to go home? Yeah, we're going to go home and talk to my mom. All right, so when you say we, you're bringing Donovan intentionally this time, huh? Yes. <laughs> are you taking two cars? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Just so that one of them doesn't get left at school. That seems that's like fair. a hassle. Yeah, great. So you head back to your house, um, and your mom is sort of just sitting at the kitchen table with a cup of tea when you come in. And she gets up, and she gives you a big hug without even saying anything. Yeah, and, and we don't have to role play out this whole scene. But yep. uh, uh, basically, I think we'll just like as soon as he walks in he like drops his backpack like by the door and like goes right up to his mom and gives her a big hug and he probably starts to tear up a little bit mm -hmm. well, cry um and then they kind of talk about things i don't know exactly what they talk about i think but... donovan steps into the living room 
to give them privacy to talk. Good. And they just kind of yeah, like, let's uh, talk about what happened. I'm sure they have a very engaging, sort of sad conversation. Yeah, very nice, heartfelt mm-hmm. conversation with his mom about things. And he probably ends up like apologizing and stuff. But I imagine his mom is like, you don't have to apologize for anything. Right. Yeah. Uh, a whole lot of this is not your fault. This is not your fault. You're not allowed to blame yourself. This is not your fault. Yeah. 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 Like soft focus. The camera pulls away. There's like an indie cover of of a very popular song playing slowly <laughs> yeah. over yeah. the CW show. It's, it's very yeah. heartfelt. Oh yeah, we're getting an award for this scene. It's really mm-hmm. good. Good, good. Yeah, Wolf has got his good uh, acting tears on. They're real tears. <laughs> um, cool. And then after that, um, I don't know if you want to. No, wanna that's good. To someone else, but yeah. Um, but there was something that. Wolf wanted to do with Donovan. What's up? This. Tell me. Uh, I yeah, think yeah. when you finish and you go into the living room, Donovan's not there. <gasps> what? What? Yep. Donovan, where did you go? I think Wolf <laughs> just does that that look <laughs> around like, <laughs> and then he like pulls out his phone and is like, he texts Donovan. You have a like, you have a message from Donovan. Oh. Oh, oh sh- okay. snappers. Whoa. He says he'll be ho- he'll be back shortly. He gra- he's grabbing pizza for dinner for you. Oh, pizza! Because I think we'll, we'll figured sorry. you wouldn't want to cook, and your mom, <laughs> you know, would be busy talking with you. Yeah, and we'll just like turn to his mom is like, "Oh, Donovan's getting us pizza." And then you hear his car, and he's parking, and he's bringing in a couple large pizzas. Vegetable pizzas. Aww. <laughs> Cauliflower crust. With veggies. Cauliflower crust. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I shouldn't I mean, make that, that face. I've never had Cold cauliflower crust is pizza. Really it's is actually it? really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. It's done it's well. Yeah, it's I don't know well why that was my gut reaction. I like cauliflower. I think I'm also just hungry, so I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty good. Mm. I need that. <laughs> Keto pizza. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. No, 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 no. Cool. So Monster then I Hearts guess... Mondays. Brought to you by <laughs> yeah. food. Brought to you by food. Um, so, some pizza chain. Call us. Now that Donovan's yeah, back, what is, you, you, you had a thing you wanted to do. Yeah, well, they probably eat some pizza first. Uh, you okay. can't just, like, let it be cold. Okay, I don't know. so let's, let's, uh, I won't forget about you. How about that? Yeah, don't forget. But I don't want to get too far I, into in the in, in the future, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Donovan sure. can't stay too long because of the game. Because of the big game, that's big right. Game. Big game. You need some Totinos is what you actually need. What? <laughs> Someone got that reference. Dude, like, come do. on. No. The SNL Totinos? Skits. The SNL skits, like the several. We'll, we'll link it to you later. We'll link it to you okay. later. Unimportant. All right, it's great. 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 Meanwhile. Listen, meanwhile. Bridget and Krina are sitting in the living room. We're in the kitchen. In the kitchen. I think Bridget is just petting Clementine, who hasn't shown up for a while, as I was <laughs> reminded recently. So every so often I forget about Clementine. She doesn't bring Clementine to school, so. And then I feel like how your sheep is in the house. Right, it's a house sheep. In the kitchen, you live on a farm, <laughs> and your sheep lives in the house with you. This is a house sheep. It's it's not an we outdoor sheep. Off. It's not a sheep farm. This is our only sheep. <laughs> Maybe they should branch farm. off. <laughs> it's a house sheep. It's I like so the annoying. idea that everyone just sort of assumed the other person would look up how to raise sheep. <laughs> like amongst like the four people in the house everyone's just like i'm sure someone did it this must Carol's be fun an honor student it's bridget's animal oh, my wife's got it oh my wife's got it <laughs> anyway um um so uh d d um did, uh, no, Tara, I take it back, not Tara. Tara did at one point go into the office to, sh- to make some phone calls and write some emails. So, you know, before long, some of, uh, thank you, Ashley, that is what emails look like. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, so, you know, before long, member of the coven are going to start showing up. Um, and Dee got a lot of her mason jars ready. Uh, for such things. Uh, is there anything, Bridget, Ao, or Krina, you specifically want to do before things get wacky? Um, I think Bridget wants to just have a check-in with Krina. Okay. 
Am I overreacting? Maybe it's fine, right? I mean, overreacting about what? I don't know. It freaks me out Sebastian was in my house. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's weird. You're definitely not overreacting about that. I don't know why he's here. That's weird. I don't like it. Okay. Okay, so you think I'm I'm doing the right thing, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Your parents should definitely get checked out. Um, make sure they're not hypnotized. Okay. What are you gonna do at school tomorrow? Tomorrow Saturday. Saturday. What are you gonna do at school Monday? Maybe, maybe Donovan could hypnotize everyone who saw. Oh, that. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't care? Don't. How many years have I been telling people that I, you know, my dad's the king of the Fey, and I'm half Fey, and I spend my summers in the Fey realm? No, they'll believe me. Maybe. And they'll stop. I think I'd Maybe like to spend my vintage string on Krina. What? You gonna like spend to it? Spend my vintage string on Krina. Okay, all right. Why? What do you want to do? I want to give her the condition so fay. Oh. <laughs> I will accept. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Um. Yeah, well, like, it gets better. This is this is what I was gonna say. Uh, um, maybe now when they stare at me, it's because they'll actually be afraid and they'll stop making fun of me. I don't think anyone makes fun of you, Krina. I I never made fun of you. Well, I might have made fun of you before. That was the the other person. Well, you weren't as mean as other people. Like, I get that it's weird. It is weird. But, like, I don't lie about anything. And I can't... Like, people still haven't figured it out when they make the promises and when they break the promises and then they get the broken heart text and it's... Then something bad happens to them. They haven't figured it out. They're so You dumb. send those texts? No. They just happen. It's weird. They're not on my phone. Okay. That's all I have till cupboard members show up. Uh, I would like to. I wonder, does huh. Dixie say anything about the detention that she and I both have? Because <laughs> Krina has forgotten it. Oh, I mean, Dixie already cut class. She's not going back to school. Okay. And, and Bridget, Bridget has. Well, well Bridget, Bridget got suspended. Got suspended. Right. Oh, got suspended. It's true. Yeah. No. I'm no. Dixie's definitely getting in trouble, but she's chosen that this is better than she's that. She's accepted her fate. Right. Go ahead. Make right. your choice. Right. It also would not be the first time that Krita has literally forgotten that she was assigned attention that same day. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I think... Um, the teacher's, like, half expected now. Right. Everyone... Everyone... <laughs> forget about that detention. You know, like, that's... We're get, we'll deal with that on Monday. Yeah. Bigger issues. Um, like so... the episodes from now, so... <laughs> <laughs> different, um... Coven, uh, coven members start coming, and you know we've talked about them before. They're like moms and some of the older ladies in the town. There's, you know, a little over ten total. And um, does Eva come? This who? Eva. Eva. Oh yeah, she's supposed. No, she's working. She's right not now. actually a real witch. But she wants to be real bad. That's right. I forgot uh, for a second that she she hangs with the coven. Um, I think the coven, the members of the coven are various levels of which. There's a real sliding scale here. Um, a lot of them are crystal moms, you know, moms with crystals. Um, and Eva is happy to sell those crystals. 
to the Crystal Moms. <laughs> I'm sure one of the Crystal Moms is named Crystal. Yes, oh. it's true. <laughs> um, and they start coming. And after like two show up, they stop ringing the doorbell. They just go around back because D is leading them and like setting up protective spells and stuff. Um, and so um, th- w- the doorbell rings. Um, after like a little while, people have stopped ringing the doorbell. And you know your moms are both outside at this point. I'll get up and get it. Great. Uh, I you can yell, I got it! <laughs> <laughs> to nobody in particular. Yeah. Um, and um, you open up the door, and um, there's three kids outside. And these are kids that the audience uh, haven't, haven't seen yet. Um... There's uh, Hannah. Hannah is a sophomore, and she's really big. She's just like, she really leaned into that growth spurt, and it just kept on going. She's a tall girl. Um, They're desperately trying to get her to play both basketball and volleyball, and she doesn't want to do anything to do with it. Uh, And there's uh, Jackie. Jackie is the alt girl art student that was the best friend of the main character in like every 90s and early 2000s movie. Yeah, okay, thank you. I'm getting a little nods and I like it. And, um, and then there's Nathan. Um, Nathan is, uh, oh, and Jackie and Nathan are juniors in the other homeroom. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Nathan is the kid who insists on wearing a, a suit to school because he likes it. And he wears really loud ties with his suit. Um, and b- between them, uh, there's a, a bicycle, a set of roller skates, and a scooter. And um, they're just like, um, Jackie will speak up. Jackie will be like, hey, uh... Bridget, can we talk to you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I give like a, I'll be right back <laughs> yeah. to, to Creep <laughs> and step out on the porch. Great. Uh, we just wanted to tell you that, um, and Hannah will speak up, it was really cool how you slammed into Corey today in the lunchroom and held him to a table. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. Uh, yeah, and, and Nathan's like, yeah, I mean, not just that you slammed Corey into a table. I mean, that was cool, but, like, you got in, like, the middle of that fight, and you were super quick, and, you know, we heard that you got suspended, and that's not cool. We just wanted to come by and say that, you know. I, I that was cool? Yeah. It was super cool. Yeah, it was really cool. We thought that was really great. I could, I could show you some stuff sometime. Wow, that would that would be awesome. Yeah, we'd love that. Yeah, we we would really like that. Do, do you guys want to come in? We're about to have like a, a magic ritual. What? If you guys want to come in, my, my moms are, my moms are witches. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Come come in. <laughs> Great. Uh, I think I come in and I'm like, Krina, Dixie, you got you know Hannah and Jackie and Nathan, right? They all no. sort of wave. But hi. <laughs> Jackie's like, what? I'm in like two classes with you. <laughs> oh, really? I don't really pay attention to class very much. If you're if you're in class with me, you know that. <laughs> fair. It's fair. That's that's cool. Um, you, you can see, like, Nathan, like, leaning on the back door. And he's like, oh, Jackie, your mom's out there, too. <laughs> <laughs> your mom, Crystal. <laughs> right? That's right, Jackie's mom, Crystal. Jackie anyway. goes, yeah, she does things like that. I didn't know they were she was here. But I guess if there's a magic ritual, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, this is Krina. You know her. She wants everyone to know she's a fae now. 
What? Okay, um, okay. Oh, that's not... Okay. <laughs> you said you did. No, I said I didn't care. Thought um, that I was, like, announcing it, but it's fine. Um, and, and, and this is Dixie, um, where... I think she, like, looks dating! at Dixie. I, well, I didn't want to put a label on it. Dixie I mean, I don't okay know if they're that. girlfriends, but they're dating. Dixie goes, now yeah, we're dating. Oh, we're, we're dating. Oh my gosh, this pen sucks. I'm sorry. That's a uh, non sequitur for everyone besides me. Um, yeah, Dixie like casually says, yeah, we're dating. And um, Nathan will go over to you uh, Krina, and be like, yeah, it's cool that you're Faye, um, I'm Pan. Oh, um, yeah, I'm that too, but... Like, I get you, and like, give you a little fist bump. I'll like, awkwardly return the fist bump, and like, you can see it on Krina's face, is like, you don't actually get me. <laughs> but she doesn't say it out loud. Okay. I think that there's a little part of, uh, I just want to make this joke. Yeah, when, please. When he says that he's Pan, um, which is like, wait, that's a Greek god, right? And then it's like, oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, Yay, we got good. the- I like it, I like yeah. it. Uh, Go wash your legs, prove, you, prove what you are. Take your pants <laughs> off. <laughs> In my kitchen. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, yeah, and Nathan okay. just goes in your kitchen and starts making lemonade. Cause okay. Cool. That's how comfortable Nathan is in your kitchen. Right. <laughs> um, Listen, Nathan has a well-known business from selling lemonade. Yeah. That's why he's a suit. That's why he's a business kid. He's a business kid. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to look at Dixie and be like, should we be helping the coven with this? Uh, Dixie looks up and goes, oh, shoot, I probably should. Do you, do you want me to come help, too? Um. Um, so last time the coven did a thing, and they really, really were gonna fuck it up, and then Sandra and Rue showed up and saved the day, because Bridget and I distracted everybody. Um. I don't remember she, doing that. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was the, it was. It was what made the before the before and the now the now. Right. Yeah. Um, they fucked up the circle real bad and Sandra Ruth said something and I was trying to fix it but then your mom got was like, what are you doing? And I was like, don't patronize me, I'm magic too. And then, and then, and then Sandra and Ruth were like, do you want this to work, princess? And I was like, yes. And then, you know, you and I distracted everybody and you made a really nice speech and Sandra and Ruth were just like, boop, 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 and fixed the circle. This has to be simpler than that though, right? Yeah! Yeah! I'm, I'm sure my mom's got this. <laughs> my mom made a really good souffle like two weeks ago. So. Oh, it's also I, difficult. That is true with craft. Ruth uh, knocks on the back door. Uh, I'll open it. Great. Um. It, she'll come in and be like, so I was listening to the conversation. Um, Princess, can I talk to you for a moment? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll go out the door. Great. And she'll just get like close to your face so she can whisper. And she goes, I hope it is all right that I have been uh, interceding. I told Alistair that he has to switch places with me for a little while. Okay, good. I just, okay. And then she'll straighten it back up and she'll be like, yeah, they're doing like a circle of protection thing and it seems okay. Okay. Yeah, good. Thank um, you. But I overheard them talking about the whole cleanse of hypnotism and that's just nonsense. I'll like turn and look at, look at uh, Bridget and Dixie. Dixie goes, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Well, 
Can, can you do something without them noticing? Ruth? I mean, it's the the the, the what you call it, mysticism. That what you said. They are talking about a way to, if one of them was hypnotized, to cleanse the hypnotism out of their body, and the stuff they're talking about just isn't gonna work. We could um, still bring someone in, but... Will it hurt anybody? Oh, no. They'll be then fine. Then just let them do it. Okay, great. Uh, real quick. Hypnotized. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, the stream is down? Question mark? Is it? Uh-oh. Yeah, you've been, getting, you've been getting a little choppy for me. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting a little point, circle. I understand. What do you think you were saying? <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. yeah Ali's saying it's, it's freezing for her. Oh shit, I got it. I don't know. Yeah, um, it, yeah mine was frozen and I see... I see Ali's message now. Oh, 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 no. no. Yeah. Let's, back see, for like a let's second. see if it's something on my side. Side note. Oh, we have a second. Well, they might be able to hear you. We're not worried about let, what the fake thing did. Let, let me get there. in afterwards and check on them. Oh yeah, no. Oh, stream is freaking out. Well, I just reset something, so. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Phenomena. All right. I see us back as clear. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing us as well. I'm gonna, let's ask them. Hey, uh, everyone out in Dreamland, how do we look? How we doing, honey buns? Well, besides fabulous. I mean, yeah, well, that's obvious. The, the Delay, these, these, these so they have a shirts. chance to answer. These beautiful shirts. Talk about my beautiful hair. They I'm were really earlier. Proud. You saw it. I'm really proud of it. I it worked is, real hard on it. It is good hair. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. So, um, <laughs> I know that I, I, it, ha it started happening at some point after I wrote Jackie in the chat. I don't, I don't know how much you got, but essentially, quick catch up. Um, Ruth was talking to Krina. She just checked in. Uh, and was like, hey, we were like, hey, Alistair, you should be the not talking person right now and be the watching person, and Ruth will be the talking person because, um, is it still hiccuping? It's hitching a lot? I don't know what hitching no, means. Yeah. Better. No, it's, it's, better. it's a problem for them, but everyone else is saying that it's better now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think it's it's fine for me. So okay, yeah. it Therefore, looks good it must on my be fine for everyone. Yeah, well, right. everyone except Ninja Cat is saying that it's fine. So Ninja Cat, refresh. I don't Ninja know what refreshing. Is. All right, I'm gonna not worry about it. Right, know. that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus on this until y'all tell me, Brian, stop focusing on this because it's a problem again. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll yell at you again. If, if I trust yeah. you. Okay. Here's the catch up. Ruth said to Krina.